Hey everybody, this is K-Rider Geek Nation News, and this week we're going to be doing another DC figure review, and this is from the multiverse, and this is Earth 2 Flash from the TV show, uh, The Flash. <laughs> so yeah, uh, this is a figure that I've really been wanting to get for the longest time. Um, I'm a huge fan of this character, you know, especially that, you know, I'm a whole fan of Jay Garrick and also the, the way they went by it on the series, that he becomes actually Zoom. And so I really liked that. I really wanted to get this figure. Um, so pretty much, let's look at the box. So pretty much, like I said, you know, show his name, and then the top it says Multiverse the Flash, and it shows right there it shows Jay Garrick Earth Two Flash, and this is actually the Shark Wave. Um, oops, sorry, the box comes coming off. Um, and pretty much it shows you there. Well, let me put the box back. Uh, pretty much the Shark Wave is built King Shark, and uh, pretty much there's uh, the Flash Zoom. Um, Jim Gordon, Batman, Batgirl, Hawkman, and the old Joker. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the way for, to build the um, King Shark. But let's get started and let's crack this baby open so we can get a better look at the figure. Let's check out the accessories. So first is the King Shark hand. Man, this thing is heavy. It's very solid. That's scary. And then it comes with lightnings. You can put in his arms. That's so cool that they added that part. And this changeable hand. So it looks like he's running. I love that. They can change his hands. And also his train mug, his helmet. I really love this helmet. I like how it looks. It looks really cool. I'm a fan of this helmet design. Uh, like I said, I'm a fan of Jay Garrick and I love the helmet. Uh, so yeah, so now let's check the figure oh, itself. right. So I guess I want to give you a better look at the whole figure itself the whole body um, It looks really cool. I really like the whole theme of the suit the when they went by it uh, I have nothing against the, the actual Jay Garrick and the second Jay Garrick the real Jay Garrick But I, I don't know I guess because I saw this first I was a really fan of the suit I like the whole lightning simple and it has kind of like a steampunk kind of like a really old style to it just like the original Jay Garrick. So that's why I guess I really do like his this costume compared to the other one. Alright, so now let's test the articulation. So first I'm gonna take the helmet. So off. let's first test. He actually has a hip joint like hips, so his his body does sway well, sway 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 sway. <laughs> Um, he does does bend like that uh, almost all the way kind of blocks a little bit his hands do bend all the way It, it kind of I got to force it so I got I guess you got to keep moving it to make it looser But yeah, so his hands do bend all the way um, his hands do pretty much twist like that uh, His hands uh, his hands do turn because you can take him off to switch him off. I love that you can do that um, But his whole hand like the glove self does not so let's test the the leg. So the leg does bend to the sides. So I love that they added that part, and you get twisted to the side like that. But uh, I think that also kind of stops it to move forward that lot. Like you see right there, it doesn't really move that forward that fast. Um, uh, that's the only thing I hate about that. And yeah, I hate that because I wish you could pose more. Uh, his hands, his leg does turn all the way around like this, squibble, squibble. Uh, his leg does bend to a certain amount. But it's stiff. Uh, his hand, he doesn't have no ankle privilege. He just goes front and back. I wish that he had ankle privilege. So he, because again, since he can be posing like he's, he just finished running. I, I hate that part too. That's two things I hate about that. Um, all right. So now let's get a better look at his face. All right. So uh, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not a fan the way they captured him. They could have done a better job. Multiverse, uh, DC multiverse figures known for kind of lacking when it comes to. Uh, scoping their figure wise uh, it bugs me he looks better with the helmet without it he looks it looks weird it looks weird so, so he looks actually looks way better with the helmet on it helps a little <laughs> but without it I just I'm not a fan of this face they could have done a way better job but I am a fan of the character and that's why I got this figure. All right, so that's it. So let's talk about the good and the bad about this figure. The good thing is, if you're a fan of the of the of this character, it's a must-have. Uh, it's cool that I actually made a figure of him. Um, that's the only good thing about this. Now, the, pretty much there's more bad about this. Bad-wise, uh, if you uh, if you're counting that it's gonna be good articulated, nope, it's not. They could have done a way better job. If you're counting that they, they the like if they capture him really good, nope, they didn't. When it came to the suit itself, they actually did a good job in the helmet, but the face-wise and articulation, they really lacked it, man. They really kind of like, yeah, I don't know. These multiverse, DC multiverse has to step it up because more on um, DC, pretty much Marvel Legends figures are way better. You know, they're they're better detailed and better articulation. You guys have to step it up. 
Come on, step it up. <laughs> so, but yeah, that's about it. If you're a fan, it's a must have. Uh, but if you if you're getting to add to your collection, um, it's a pass because like again, not the greatest articulation, not the greatest uh, scoping wise on this figure. His face like it, it looks just off. It looks really weird. But if you're a fan of the show and you're a fan of this character like I am, it's a it's a must have. It's a definitely must have to add to your collection of the Flash series, and that's why I got him. That's the only reason I got him because. I'm a huge fan of the show. He's one of my favorite characters slash villains. So that's why I got him. So that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Mr. Bushido signing out at K Rider Nation News where we the latest videos of common writers, super central anime and comic book food. Those are considered to be a series of months, aka Kaki. Goodbye, too. Well.